this week we're going to do a slideshow with a timer to allow you to move automatically from one image to the next. To get set up, make sure that you edit your images. I recommend around um, 100 pixels per inch for your resolution. You can go a little higher, I wouldn't go over 150. It doesn't make sense on a computer screen depending on the resolution of your user's device. Some of the tablets and phones have really high resolutions but you still need to be careful about download speeds. So 96 is a good place for a pixels per inch. You'll, for this homework assignment you're going to need a minimum of 10 images. I've done 5 as the demonstration. You're going to need to set up your CSS so that we have the appropriate div tags and IDs on our page to be able to work with this. I've set up the body with a font family, Redana, Geneva, Sans Serif. Sans Serif fonts are the easiest ones to read on computer screens. I've set up a background color and I've put a padding of 10 pixels in because I like the background to show through at the top of the screen a bit. For my container, it's 960 pixels wide. I've set a um, white background. The margin zero with the auto allows it to center in the body. The text line is center and I've set the color of my text to white. I've then got a slideshow which is another container or di uh, slideshow div that I'm going to be using with it, which has a gray background. I've set it to be 650 pixels wide with a height of 700 pixels which will allow my images to show up leaving room for a title and a description. I'm doing a text line center with the margin zero auto that again centers it and a color for my font of white. Then I have padding on my pictures of 10 pixels left and right because I didn't want them too near to anything else for my paragraphs. That's allowing my text to have a little bit of spacing at the sides. Let's take a quick look at the HTML setup. Now let's compare this and it's just the top of the page. I have my slideshow with timer and these are images that I took when I, of Seamus when I was in Ireland and so you'll see I have Seamus by Blarney Castle and this is in the title ID which will be changing as we move through the slideshow. Then I also have a description for each image and the image is, set, is centered here. So my description will change so it has an idea of description, my title will change, it has an idea of title and then I, of course I have my actual image in here which has the idea of main image. You'll notice that my image source is an image folder and then I also have added a play button up at the top. I've named that control. This is going to be important because we're going to want this to change so it will sit there with a pause. If they want it to pause it will be on play when it's paused so they can it will toggle back and forth between the play and the pause icon. Let's take a quick look and see how that works. So here is my page that I've created and all I've done so far is toggled the little button here between pause and play. Let's take a look at the JavaScript so I can show you why you're seeing those messages. I was having trouble getting this to work. Now when I coded the page, you'll notice that my path for my source is imagesplay.png and you'll notice when I'm demoing it I actually have an alert on the path. Look, it goes all the way into my full path and it's ending with just my path of images play PNG. So what I want to do is detect whether I'm on play or pause. So this is my other option. So to do that in my JavaScript I have a slide control function. We're not passing anything into it and this is I'm getting the path from the control dot source what is popping up when I'm testing that is my alert path here and then I'm testing it instead of trying to predict the entire path which is going to change when I upload it to the server I'm using my regular expressions that we worked with last week I just want to detect if the word play is anywhere in that path and if it is in the path then we're going to change the control source to pause 
If it's not in the path, we're going to change to play. This is going to force it to toggle back and forth between play and pause. And now we can also put in the code in here to start the slideshow or pause the slideshow. So that's all of our setup. We now have, let's take a quick look at the page. So we have it set up where we have a play button that will toggle back forth to pause. We have a title, the main image, and a description. And these are going to toggle through, and I'm probably going to make them toggle through about every five seconds. So that's the next portion we have to set up. So you'll want to get this far, and then we can move on to the next step. Mm -hmm.